Now here we go with an extension to the Google Drawings and what you'll notice if you look there is a mouse wandering about the place on my mobile. The reason that is there, I'm just going to tap it and show you where we're getting, is the mouse I am using, double click, is this mouse here with an OTG cable. So let me just, just tap that, which is this. So you've got old, old mouse, sorry, should have dusted it, uh, with a USB and an OTG cable. Now, the question is, does it help for the editing in Google Drawings? I think it does. So what we're going to have to do is see if we can throw a two-minute demo. So here we are, look, we've opened up to Google Drawings in Chrome browser without even selecting going to the um, desktop site. Let me just come back off of that. So the big deal is that with my left hand, I'm using um, the mouse. And what I want to do is do a couple of edits to this. So first of all, let's just see if I can add a drop shadow to see if it works. Now I can select it with my finger, look and you'll find that that keyboard keeps jumping up. Now I could change that by just going into um, my Bluetooth keyboard, but I won't at the moment. So if I was on desktop, uh, goodness me, where is it? Where is it? It's format options, isn't it? So you go over to click. Yeah, here we go. Format options. And there it is. Look, um, I'd like to add a drop shadow, please. And a little reflection. There it is. Um, so we're using the mouse, which looks a lot easier to me. Let me just change the angle a little bit. Can you see the way this is working? It is a very, very easy thing that I've got, as you well know, back arrow, um, a Moto G4 on Android 7. Let's change that a little bit. Um, that keeps popping up all the time, doesn't it? So if I can add a quick arrow, so I can go over here a lot easier to say, OK, um, click. Now what I've found is that um, I can keep zooming. Here we go. This this makes it a bit easier, doesn't it? And see if we can um, look at, not that one. Really, really, I could muck about with this, but the point of it is, is that I'm using my left um, hand on the mouse as it turns out uh, looks like I've just added a line there didn't it? Uh, the main thing is this is working very very easily and I don't have to use my fingers um, let me just I'll just hit my Bluetooth keyboard here to see that I've um, now accessed Bluetooth's not on is it? it's not on that's useful isn't it come on turn that on that might be more useful uh, let's hit that again Let's see if that comes in. Um, and now see if we can add a nice arrow there. Um, let's put an arrow head on it. Now normally, and this is quite an interesting fun thing, and that is depending on the zoom level, is depends where I am with uh, whatever is on screen that I do. Let's change the color. This is a normal thing that I would normally do. Let's change the uh, line weight again, make it a bit bigger. Let's shove an arrow head on the end. Let's try that one. Let's uh, move that round a little bit to look at the OTG part of it. I accept that that is off. And yeah, I'm not going to go any further than that. I think I proved my point to myself, and that is by using um, an OTG cable, which is this long thing. You can get them from eBay for like a dollar or something. I've got a very old mouse here. I've shoved the USB and the USB end in together I've shoved this little little part down here which um, if you don't know about OTGs they are absolutely fantastic OTG means on the go that goes into the by the bottom of my Moto G I could use a keyboard I could use um, SD cards I could use whatever I want in this example I thought as you can clearly see I'm moving pretty fast as I go and I've got a nice uh, pointy pointy arrow here and you know there it is looking so if I wanted to say nice then I can comment and I quite honestly feel like I'm already on my laptop which is quite an achievement really if you think about it um, bonus bonus I am pushing the mobile and the Android to the full in 2018